the names of 109 Ukrainian cyborgs killed in action defending Donetsk International Airport, read out to honour their resilience and sacrifice for their country. For weeks leading up to January the 20th, 2015, the combined Russian army troops and separatist units had bombarded, bunkered down Ukrainian soldiers with every type of ammunition they had. Grad multiple launch rocket systems, mortars, tank guns and sniper bullets, but the cyborgs could not be dislodged. Then on that fateful Tuesday in 2015, the attacking forces detonated explosive devices on the second floor, sending tons of concrete and rubble crashing down on Ukrainian soldiers and volunteers below. Days later, Ukraine had lost control of the destroyed airport complex, but the remarkable bravery of those cyborgs turned them into national heroes. The families of the deceased soldiers, as well as Ukraine's president, top defence officials and students from military lyceums attended Sunday's commemoration within the grounds of Ukraine's main Ministry of Defence complex in Kyiv. After a wreath-laying ceremony, President Poroshenko gave a speech next to a book with the names of all Ukrainian soldiers killed since independence. We will never forget this heroic feat and never betray what we believe in and what we fight for. We will rebuild Donetsk airport and on its tall control tower there will always be the Ukrainian flag, which the cyborgs raised again and again under bullets and shells. Remember that the whole of Ukraine, all our nation, whose chronicles your sons have entered forever, is your family now. Ukrainian soldiers who demonstrated the freedom-loving, selfless, unbreakable Ukrainian spirit became a symbol for the entire country, an example for all the military. Thanks to their heroism and resilience, our soldiers will win, and we will always remember the heroes who didn't return home. Several songs dedicated to the cyborgs' heroic feats were performed by Volva Heiser, the leader of the Ukrainian group Shabla. Many of the 200 or more soldiers killed at Donetsk airport received awards posthumously. 